And so here we have fraction multiplication. This is where we're going to be getting the opportunity if we, cho if we choose to do the cross canceling as we saw in some former problems. And so we've got three over five times 10 over seven. And if we were to do the multiplication straight across, we get 30 over 35. Then we need to recognize that 30 over 35, both of those numbers are divisible by five. And we would end up with six over seven. The cross canceling method for that would be to say we have three over five times 10 over seven, and then recognize that the five and 10 are both divisible by five. We would replace the five with the one, we would replace the 10 with the two, then we would have three times two is six, and one times seven is seven. Either method will produce <clears throat> the solution six over seven. Do feel free to pick the method that works best for you. And again, if you're a person that wants to put this into a calculator or into Wolfram, that's totally okay. So I've got six over seven. Next, two over nine times three over four. We can just multiply straight across and get six over 36. Then we need to recognize that six and 36 both have the common factor six. You could use two, of course, but then you would have to divide again because you wouldn't be in simplest form yet. And we end up with one over six. Alternatively, we can do the cross canceling method. And we can notice that nine and three, both are divisible by three. That gives us a three, that gives us a one. And we can notice that two and four are both divisible by two. That gives us a one and that gives us a two. So now in the numerator, we have one times one is one. And in the denominator, we have three times two is six. Giving us one sixth. Okay, another, we have seven over nine. times five over three. And so in this one, we will multiply straight across and get 35 over 27. Now, if we were to try to do the cross canceling thing here, we would need to recognize that seven and three do not have any common factors, neither do nine and five. So there is no, not going to be a cross canceling demonstration here because that's already in simplest form and there is nothing to cross cancel. So 35 over 27 will be our fraction in simplest form. And then one more. We will have, <clears throat> have four over three times 15 over 14. And multiplying straight across, we will get four times 15 is 60. Three times 14 is 42. We do need to see that 60 and 42 both do have some common factors. I see two as a common factor, but I also see six. And so I, I want to choose the larger of the two each time because it will make the process go a little bit quicker. And 60 divided by 6 gives me 10. 42 divided by 6 gives me 7. Alternatively, we could do the cross-canceling gig where we have 4 over 3 times 15 over 14. We would need to see that 3 and 15 both have a common factor of 3. We replace those with 1 and 3. Then 4 and 14 are both divisible by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7.
So now multiplying our new numbers straight across. I'm sorry, that should be a 5, not a 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5, not 3. So 2 times 5 is 10. <clears throat> 1 times 7 is 7. <clears throat> Again, the regular way or the cross-canceling way will produce the same result. It just depends on how much simplifying of the fraction you have to do after you've done the math.